Hello and welcome to today's episode of the Power of Your Mind podcast. You are listening to episode number 196. I'm Victoria Gallagher, the Law of Attraction hypnotist and number one best-selling author of Practical Law of Attraction, Align Yourself with the Manifesting Conditions and Successfully Attract your desires. And I'm also the founder of hiptalk.com, HypnoCloud apps, which gives you access to over 500 hypnosis recordings right in the palm of your hand. So do be sure to download that app from the app stores today. And while I'm on that note, I just want to give you a little pattern interrupt there. Do be sure to download that app today from the app stores. We have some amazing things that are happening behind the scenes. And right now would be a really good time for you to get your hands on that app at today's subscription price because in the future, um, things are going to be a lot different and you're gonna want to have that app on your phone and you can get it on Android, you can get it on um, Apple, but you do definitely want to do that. And um, so anyway, I am super excited about today's episode because I am changing things up a bit. Um, I have no guest behind this camera here. It's all just me. And I'll tell you just a little bit about that. Um, So for the past few years, I have been doing pretty much nothing but on this uh, podcast, interviewing amazing guests. I mean, I, we have had some amazing, amazing people on this show from Christy Whitman, Sarah Prout, Steve G. Jones, um, you know, Bob Doyle, Joe Vitale, you know, just to name a few of the amazing names out there that we've had on the show. And I really enjoyed that. And, you know, at at some point, you just kind of have to follow your gut and sort of realize, you know, that doing the same thing over and over again isn't always the best thing when you are growing your name, your business, whatever. And so, you know, I really went back and I looked at the statistics for a lot of my old episodes. And as we're coming up to episode number uh, 200, I wanted to, you know, just really take a look and, and see where things were at. And wouldn't you know it, as amazing as the guests have been, which I'm so grateful to have met and interviewed and some of these people have actually become my friends and so I'm really excited um you know for uh the you know the, just the fact that I got to uh do this 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 podcast so long in that format but now I think it's time to do something different like I was saying I went back and I was looking at a lot of the statistics and most of the most popular shows, and I thank you very much, even though sometimes I would pop in there occasionally and and I would do my own episode without a guest, all of the shows that I have done on my own have been the most popular shows. And so I thought, well, you know, maybe it's time for me to be the star of my own show. And so while I may just uh, rattle on here and and do my thing um, by myself, I also may end up bringing a co-host on. I'm in the process of possibly interviewing and entertaining the idea of having a a co-host. So reach out to me, guys. Just reach out to me on orders at hiptalk.com. Yes, that is my email address. I'm giving it to you. That's the email address if you want to reach me. And let me know uh, your thoughts on the show. Let me know the you know the show is going to be definitely more geared toward my law of attraction trainings my uh, manifestation techniques and you know and and really getting back into what i had promised that the show was going to be all about um you know which you know in every show i really want to give you 
a technique that you can take away and that you can use throughout the week. And so that's, um, that's going to be my promise to you moving forward is you always have something that you can take away from this that you can apply in your life week after week. So the other thing uh, I wanted to mention just as a little celebration of this show is that I completely missed the day. I mean, this actually happened probably a month or two ago is that we, our show went over 1 million downloads. So I really want to give a huge thank you to all the listeners who have been listening and downloading that have contributed to that number. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And once again, I really want to thank all the guests who I've had over the show over the last couple of years who I've had the privilege and the honor of interviewing. And, you know, like I said, I want to see what happens as I dive into giving the, you know, giving, giving you what I used to do at the very, very beginning, which was, you know, just a 20 minute show, maybe 25 minutes where I really dive in, discuss law of attraction techniques. And today uh, we're getting back to that. So today the topic is the five gratitude secrets for law of attraction, five gratitude secrets that you can use. And these are going to be actually five techniques, five different things that you can take away from today's episode and just apply in your daily life. Now, before I even dive into that, I do have to plug my app one more time, my HypnoCloud app, because when we're talking about gratitude, all right, there are some, an ama some amazing gratitude meditations right there inside the app that make it so easy for you to uh, the, actually there's uh, meditations as well as affirmations so be sure to download hypnocloud after today's episode so that you can actually use some additional tools during your gratitude walks during your morning meditation routine and so of course by now i'm sure you've heard that cultivating attitude, cultivating an attitude of gratitude um, is super important when it comes to the law of attraction. But why? You know, what, what do we even mean by, uh, by gratitude? And what does cultivating an attitude of gratitude actually do for you? in terms of manifesting your dreams? And, you know, so, so many people, they find it so hard when they are working on manifesting their dreams. And, and I get into this space all the time. I mean, it happens all the time when, you know, you, you want to bring a goal into fruition, a desire, and then you start complaining about the fact that you don't have that thing that you're so focused on that you don't have that, right? And, you know, this happens to me in, in business and, in, you know, just trying to, you know, manifest the right resources that I need. And you can really find yourself in a funk and, and really kind of going down a negative downward spiral sometimes because when you're focused on what you don't have, then that just bring, put, puts you into a negative vibe. So we're talking about gratitude and how that can really reverse that negative vibe. And so I want to clear up a little bit about, you know, what are some of the benefits? What is gratitude? Why do you, you know, why is this so powerful and so important? So in the simplest terms, gratitude, practicing gratitude, you know, is, is really just about you actively being thankful and appreciative for all the things that you do have in your life, especially if you're working on a very particular goal in your life, then having gratitude around anything that is positive that you can focus on around that area can really build a bridge toward you manifesting more of the same. For example, let's say that you are wanting to, um, you know, manifest more coaching clients and you have, uh, you know, you have a goal of manifesting a certain number of coaching clients. Well, one of the areas that you could be grateful for 
if you are not getting any clients right now is you could be grateful for your skills that that you are a great coach you could be grateful for the fact that you have had great coaches perhaps maybe you've had great people that you that have gotten you to this point maybe you could be grateful for the fact that you have had great clients to coach in the past you know so Having something in the area of what it is, a very specific area that you're working on, that would be a great place to start to really focus and hone in your gratitude. Okay, so um, that's just an example. And we're just going to we're going to dive into some of the benefits right now um, of having gratitude, because gratitude, it goes beyond the whole manifesting thing. I mean, it's really something that you want to do for yourself for your life for your for your personal well-being for your mindset for for your emotions your your physical health all of these things can be greatly improved by using a uh, gratitude practice so i just want to give you a few of the benefits just beside the fact that it's great for raising your vibration so number 1 and especially you know today with all this illness that's you know going around um it we want to focus on things that are going to help us boost our immune system and gratitude actually helps to strengthen not only your uh your your immune system but it helps you to boost your mood so boosting your mood all right helps you to reduce stress and and stress is a primary cause of reduction of your immune system. So if you think about it, just by having gratitude, you know, gratitude is going to generally make you feel better about your life. And so that's going to give you a more sense, you know, higher sense of well-being and and having that higher sense of well-being is going to reduce your stress. And so the reduction of the stress in and of itself is going to boost your immune system. And all of that, you know, plays a huge role in reducing your chances of, you know, heart disease, heart failure, um, you know, just really keeping your whole self in shape. Like anything that you can imagine uh, that's, that's caused by stress even weight gain it, it can be caused by by stress because the body um, holds on to all these uh, additional stress hormones like catecholamines um, that can have a tendency to help you to cause you to gain weight um, and weight gain of course can lead to all kinds of health problems so it definitely is going to help you uh, with your health it's going to help you with your mental health as well and uh, and it's just going to help you also in reducing anxiety and depression because again like when you're focused on boosting your outlook which gratitude does it's going to help you to feel more optimistic about what is happening in your life you know when you're focused on the positive it's just going to make life seem better and when life feels better you're happier and you're less prone to feel uh you know depressed and it's also really helpful for building and cultivating your and strengthening your relationships your relationships uh, with other people you know, you know when your mindset is focused on um, what you are grateful for when it comes to your relationships i mean for example you know in in my relationship i mean i'm grateful that i can be grateful that my husband makes the bed right i can be grateful that my husband cooks me dinner i can be grateful that my husband spends time with me and if i start thinking about more of the positive things that he is doing that we're going to have a better relationship because i'm not so focused on you know when 
whatever, you know, the, the silly arguments that arise uh, from time to time or the, the things that he's not doing, like, oh, he didn't scoop the litter box this morning or whatever it was. And, or, you know, if, if, you're, if you're sitting there, you know, focusing on all the things that are going wrong, you're going to continue to manifest and bring more of those things toward you. So it really is just not even just for, you know, manifesting your business success, manifesting relationship success, manifesting health. It's, 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 it's for everything. I mean, every single thing in your life is going to improve when you practice gratitude. So I highly encourage you to, uh, to practice it in one way or another every day. And it doesn't even take any time. It's one of the things that, I mean, you can literally practice gratitude while you're on the toilet. <laughs> you can practice gratitude when you first wake up in the morning and you're just, you know, laying in bed for those, you know, few seconds before you get out of bed or on your way to making the coffee in the morning, um, on your way to work in the morning. And rather than complaining, if you have to get in the car and, you know, all the people out there, you know, complaining about the price of gas. I mean, you know, all that's doing is, you know, bringing down your mood, bringing down the mood of anybody else who you might be complaining to. Instead, you know, and it's not to, this is not to get political or anything like that. You know, I'm, I would say this about anything that you're complaining about, but this just happens to be what a lot of people are complaining about these days. And so why not, um, express gratitude for the fact that you do have a car. If you, <laughs> you know, you have a car, you have the ability to drive, you have a driver's license. Um, you have a beautiful street that you can drive down. You have the money in your bank account to, to be able to fuel your car. You have a job to go to wherever you, it is that you're going. Be grateful for the fact that you have the ability to go there. I mean, there's so many more things so whenever you find yourself complaining about something, you know, find something, find two or three things that you could be grateful for. So here's the, the first ritual. I want to give you five rituals that you can practice. You could practice all of them. You could pr practice just one of them. You could practice a few of these, but these are five rituals that you could practice. And we're almost at my 20 minute mark. Oh my goodness. So I want to <laughs> take uh, one quick uh, break right before I, um, I go into talking about the, uh, the, the five rituals here, because I, I want to leave you on a little bit of a cliffhanger. But I do want to let you guys know that at the end of July, I am having my one and only Law of Attraction Intensive in Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay. And so if you want to find out more about that, you can go to my website, lawofattractionintensive.com, lawofattractionintensive.com. And that is a three day intensive training. And when I say intensive, I just, it's, 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 it's intense. It's amazing. It's, it's beautiful. And it's going, and it's intense because it's going to change your life. And this is, um, something I'm going to be giving you a certification to be able to train other people. So if you're a coach and you want to add law of attraction certification, I'm going to train you the correct way according to my methods using the eight manifesting conditions and how to train other people how to do that, how to train them in such a way that they really, really believe it and they really, really get it without a shadow of a doubt. So if you want to help people make their dreams come true and you want to help make your own dr dreams come true at the same time, then come join me at the law of attraction intensive. And there's all these early bird, uh, prices that are going to be expiring. I just found out the first one. It doesn't have to expire until after, uh, March 31st, but, um, depending on when you're listening to this, you definitely want to reserve your spot so that you can get in at the early bird price. All right. So enough about that. Go to law of attraction intensive.com. Now, here we go with the uh, the five rituals that you can apply to help your daily routine so that you can feel gratitude. So the first thing is really noticing all 
the little things. You can really cultivate that feeling of gratitude by just noticing all the little things. So every day, I want you to pick three things that you're really grateful for, really grateful for. And whether it's that great cup of coffee that you made in the morning that you have, whether it's uh, seeing your pet, you know, I just, if anybody knows me, they know I love me some velvet, even though I have these other, I have three cats and I love them all dearly, but velvet and I just have this really special connection. He's my little black cat. And you can follow me on Facebook. You'll see I put lots of pictures of me and Velvet together. And I just love that little guy. I'm so grateful for that guy. Okay. Um, just the sunny day, the sunny, beautiful day. This, you know, all of just, just focusing on these little things or, you know, it could be a book that you're reading. It could be a, a beautiful song that you hear on the radio, you know, just whatever the radio, wherever you, you know, listen to your music, um, you know, but th- you know, training yourself to hone in on these three things, just say, you know, three little things. It could be like the, I mean, this beautiful chandelier. I wish I could show it to you, but I've just got this beautiful, um, uh, chandelier in my office in here. And I just, when I walk into my studio, it's just gorgeous. And it's just exactly the way I, I you know, I always wanted it. And, um, it's this beautiful, relaxation lavender candle that's over there. It's just, um, it smells so good. So anything like that, I mean, it's just going to fill you with joy and it's just going to help bring you into this, this moment. And you're just going to naturally feel gratitude. So what are three little things? And, you know, don't repeat the same things every day. Don't be uh, so worried about, you know, like, oh, did I say that 10 days ago either? But just, you know, really try to come up with something new and you're going to find it actually gets easier and easier. I think gratitude is really contagious when you start to uh, get yourself into that attitude. It is an attitude. All right. Um, so next number two, number two is to start a gratitude journal, start a gratitude journal, write down all of the things that you are grateful for. And in my book, Practical Law of Attraction, if you get that, whether you get it on Kindle, whether you uh, get the paperback, it actually does come with a one-day gratitude journal worksheet and and walks you through a gratitude process to help you to really uh, get into that state of gratitude. But Um, Every morning or every evening or both, just take a few moments at night to just list out all the things that you are grateful for. And this is going to cause you to really have to think about, really acknowledge these things and really to help you to just, you know, familiarize yourself over and over again with that feeling of gratitude. And there's just, to me, there's so much power in writing rather than even typing things on the computer or thinking them in your head or even saying them out loud. But when you write, when you actually have a pen and and you take, you know, and, and write in a journal that's really set out for just you to write your gratitudes, you know, writing a list of five things, 10 things every morning, every night. What are five things that happened to, during your day? It's going to cause you to like kind of go back through your day and really think about what it is that you feel grateful for. It could be just that in, inspired idea that you got. It could, you know, whatever it is, just get in the habit of, of writing five, maybe 10 you know, challenge yourself to come up with 20 things. If you really, really start to put your focus and attention on gratitude, you're going to find it's much, much easier uh, to, uh, to come up with things than you really, really think, than you really realize. Um, So that's number two. Number three is, is taking an opportunity to express your gratitude toward other people. And that could mean that you physically get on the phone and you call that person and you tell them what you're grateful for. It could mean that you send them a a postcard or a card or a letter that you write to them. It could mean maybe even just that you post something nice on their 
um, on their Facebook news feed or send them a nice message, whatever it is. Um, and it could also mean just other types of expressions of gratitude, such as practicing random acts of kindness, which, uh, you know, like if you see a stranger out on the street that maybe needs help crossing the street or, um, you know, to just see somebody that just needs help with, with anything, uh, offer them a hand. That's, that is offering your gratitude to them. Uh, donating clothes to charity is another way to express your gratitude. It's expressing your gratitude for, for having an abundance, for having an overabundance. Um, offer somebody a smile. I mean, just as you're walking down the street, smile at that person. And guess what? You'll probably get one back. Being respectful in your day-to-day -day interactions just with strangers. Just go out of your way to show respect to somebody. Hold open a door. Uh, just be mindful every day of like how your actions can really impact someone. And another uh, way that you can express gratitude is by tipping your server. So they just, you know, slaved over giving you um, their, your, you know, food, they served, they served you, go out of your way and make their experience a more positive one by, uh, you know, giving them an extra, an, you know, an extra tip or, or maybe it's, uh, you know, leaving them a really nice note, say, Hey, I really noticed that you went out of your way or, you know, or, or thanking, thanking some kind of employee for their, their efforts, wherever you've shopped. So those are just a few ways that you can really express your gratitude. And those things, you know, as much as they're going to light up somebody else's day, you're going to find that when you go out of your way to express your gratitude to somebody else, it is, you're going to get that back in return. It's going to light you up for taking that little extra step, that little extra time, that little extra thoughtfulness that is going to create you know, just uh, a, a wonderful high vibration in you. Number four is to go for gratitude walks. Now, gratitude walks are absolutely wonderful. I mean, it's just getting outside in the first place and going someplace in nature. If you have nature nearby, I'm fortunate to have nature literally, I mean, everything is essentially nature, but I, mean, I literally have a mountain uh, a block away and I can go and, you know, walk up the <laughs> trail and, you know, and, and see all the beautiful cactus and, and really spend time out there. And it really, really increases your, your happiness. It puts a smile on your face. It elevates your mood. It, recenters you it it focuses you it calms you down it helps you to break free of any negative toxic thoughts that you might be happening that might be happening it rewires your brain it helps you to look at things different differently it helps you to really raise your own self esteem it actually improves your sleep it increases your blood flow all of that okay so how to how to do a gratitude walk is choose a time when you can dedicate about 20 or more minutes to walking in gratitude this is not an athletic walk this isn't something that you're doing for physical exercise because you're going to be walking kind of slowly, kind of methodically. So you're not probably going to burn a whole lot of calories during this. Um, this is a slower, more deliberate time where you are really going to center yourself in the spirit of gratitude. And you really want to, you know, focus on all of the feelings um, in your body, your feet, your um, breathing and, and being present and being mindful for all of life's gifts. Maybe, you know, it, you might 
take this walk at, at sunrise in the morning or sunset in toward the evening. And just, you know, that is one of the most beautiful gifts that nature offers us, especially, I hate to brag, but especially here in Arizona, the sunsets are just so, so beautiful. And I'm just so grateful and I'm so blessed for this beautiful weather and this beautiful sunset that I get to see every single day. And so, you know, during this time, you want to be slow, deliberate, you want to be reflective, and you want to be continually moving and contemplating whatever it is that you feel grateful for. And you want to think the words, I am so thankful for, I have gratitude for, I am grateful for, whatever words feel best for you. You don't want to just say the words, you want to feel the gratitude, you want to be grateful. You know, gr gratitude isn't just about writing affirmations. It's not about just saying I'm grateful for. It is a state. It is something that you be, be in a state of gratitude. So you want to feel your feet on, on the ground as you're doing this. You want to connect to your whole body through your breathing. You want to feel your breathing as you're as you're walking and focusing and centering yourself and you know even even the ability to breathe and if you ever been in the hospital with a lung collapse and that's happened to me four times in my life um and i know it's never going to happen again because i've had lung surgery on both lungs now and so there that can't happen again and i'm actually really grateful for just the ability uh, to breathe. I mean, if you've ever known what it's like to have trouble breathing, that is something that you're always, always going to feel uh, grateful for. So let, like literally just the air in our lungs that everyone takes for granted, that is something uh, to be grateful for. Just the fact that you can smell, and you can, if you can hear, if you can see, if you can touch and you can taste. And, you know, of course, not everyone has that ability to do that. Some people have lost some of these senses. So if you have all five of these senses, that is definitely something that is a gift, like, you know, to be grateful for. If you can walk, if you have two feet, if you have two hands, you have two arms, you have uh, you know, any, any, you know, any, anything, you have blood flowing through your body. Uh, you have, uh, the, uh, <laughs> you have whatever it is, you know, you, you have your health. All of those things are things that you can actually begin to be grateful for. Just even noticing just the simple things as you're out there. But then as you're out in nature and you can actually hear the birds and you can see, feel the wind and you can see the trees and you can see the beautiful flowers. You know, all of these things are things that you can feel grateful. These are just a few ideas. You know, you can come up with your own ideas when you're out there going for that beautiful gratitude walk, but just open your heart and experience that gratitude for just one thing, one thing at a time. Whatever it is, for however long feels right to you, just out there walking and really, really taking it in and feeling it as long as you need to, and then something else is going to pop into your mind, and then move into feeling gratitude for that. And before you know it, you will realize that you do have a lot to be grateful for, and you're going to flood your whole mind and your whole body with gratitude. So I highly encourage gratitude walks. I take them all the time and it's magical and it really does bring you into a wonderful state. And you know, when you're in this wonderful state, you're going to attract more things to feel grateful for. It's just true. It is just the way if you believe in the law of attraction, you believe that you need to have a high vibration in order to attract more things into your life, this is how you do it. I mean, gratitude is probably one of the most powerful things. Next week, we're going to we're gonna talk about some more powerful things that are going to help you as well. Um, probably going to be something along the lines of 
um, visualizations or affirmations, but uh, we're going to get into some really powerful techniques here on uh, how you can use a law of attraction, how you can use gratitude, how you can use all of these these wonderful manifesting techniques. Okay, so um, the last area that I'd like to dive in here on um, is number five, and number five is gratitude meditation. Taking uh, five minutes to do just a gratitude meditation. And so I'm gonna walk you through that right now. I'm just gonna walk you through a quick five minute meditation, just off the top of my head here. And, um, and so if you're in a place that is safe to do so, like, you know, forget about this if you're driving. If you're driving right now, then you can just conclude this podcast because I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes and take a little time to relax and really get in touch with what you feel uh, grateful for. And I'm, I'm actually going to close my eyes as well, because when I'm doing a meditation off the top of my head, I am a much able, much better able to come up with um, the ideas when my eyes are closed. So if you're in a safe place where you can take a moment to just go ahead and relax. I'd like you to go ahead and close your eyes and take in a deep breath deeply in through your nose and hold it and let it go. And right now, I just want you, want you to be here right now, be here with me listening to the sound of my voice. And as you tune in to your breathing, into your body, being present, being here right now, I want you just to say out loud, thank you. And notice whatever comes to your mind when you say the word, thank you. You can think to yourself maybe that you're thankful for your body, your body that has the ability to keep you alive, that's been keeping you alive through your whole life. And it's going to continue to keep you alive and wake you up in the morning to have a wonderful, beautiful day. So just say thank you to your whole body for your ability to breathe, for your ability to see, for your ability to hear this message, for your ability to speak, for your ability to think, for your ability to feel, for your heartbeat, for your brain, for your vibration, for everything that is causing your body to work so beautifully, so perfectly. Just be here with that beautiful place within you for that beautiful spirit that you are and for everything that you have manifested and created up to this point, for all the lessons that you have learned that have caused you to be the magnificent person that you are. Be grateful. Say thank you for that. Thank you to the universe. Thank you to your parents who brought you into reality. Thank you. Thank you for the people that are in your life now. Your significant other, your siblings your friends, your co-workers, your clients, your boss, even the people who bag your groceries, and that may be you. Be grateful for all of the people that you interact with because we are all connecting to each other and helping each other in big and small ways. So say thank you to each and every person who's come into your life, who's given to you freely. Thank you. And for the shelter that you have, wherever you are right now, you're probably someplace safe, secure, that you have a bed, you have a place to sleep, you have a place to store your food, you have food, you have a table, you have 
some place to eat, some place to sleep, some place to exercise, some place to entertain yourself. All of these things, so grateful for those things. Be grateful. And for your pets or for your kids, be grateful. For nature, for the money that you have, for everything that is coming to you now, for everything that you are creating with your beautiful mind, be grateful. And take a nice deep breath in and let it out. And thank you. And I just want to say thank you because I am grateful to you for being here and for being a listener of the Power of Your Mind podcast. And as is usually the case with anything Victoria Gallagher, it's usually about twice as long as I imagine it's going to be, but um, we're always working on that. I'm a work in progress. So thank you for being with me this whole time for this 40 minute plus podcast. And I just wanna give my final thoughts here that building gratitude is really like training any muscle. The more you practice it, the stronger your ability is going to be. And before you know it, you're going to be incorporating gratitude into your daily life. It'll be automatic. And the more automatic it becomes, the more it becomes a habit, then, you know, the more gr- things you're going to begin to naturally and automatically experience manifesting into your life. So I just want and hope for the best for you to be able to manifest your dreams. And that's what this channel, channel, I do have a channel (laughs) on YouTube. Um, This is my podcast, but that's what this podcast is all about. And hey, if you're watching here from YouTube, because sometimes I do post the videos there, um, you know, be sure to give me a like and subscribe. But if you're watching uh, from or listening from the podcast, from the Power of Your Mind podcast, uh, then please do leave a review and let me know how you enjoy this podcast. Reach out to me at orders at hiptalk.com. Once again, be sure to download my HypnoCloud app. There's some amazing, amazing sessions on there, especially some sessions around gratitude. And I will see you next week. Next week will be episode number 197. And I haven't, um, created that episode yet, but it's going to be fantastic. And it will be having to do with a manifesting technique that you can apply to help you to get better at the law of attraction. Thank you so much for listening, for watching. I'm Victoria Gallagher, the law of attraction hypnotist, wishing you an amazing day.